Top 25 Lockheed Martin Interview Questions and Answers In this video, we will explore the top 25 interview questions commonly asked by Lockheed Martin. These questions cover various aspects, including technical skills, behavioral traits, and company culture to help you prepare effectively. We will also provide insightful answers and tips to enhance your responses during the interview. Whether you are a recent graduate or an experienced professional, this guide will equip you with the knowledge needed to impress your interviewers. 1. Tell me about yourself. I am a dedicated professional with a background in engineering and project management. I graduated with a degree in mechanical engineering and have spent the last five years working in the aerospace industry. My experience includes collaborating with cross-functional teams on complex projects, where I honed my skills in problem-solving and communication. I thrive in dynamic environments and am passionate about innovation. Outside of work, I enjoy exploring new technologies and participating in community service initiatives that promote STEM education for youth. 2. Why do you want to work at Lockheed Martin? Lockheed Martin represents a pinnacle of innovation in aerospace and defense. My passion for cutting-edge technology and commitment to national security align perfectly with the company's mission. The opportunity to contribute to projects that have a global impact excites me. I admire Lockheed Martin's focus on sustainability and diversity, which reflects a modern approach to business. Joining such a collaborative environment will allow me to enhance my skills, work alongside industry leaders, and be part of groundbreaking developments that shape the future. 3. How do you function in a team environment? In a team environment, I prioritize open communication and collaboration. I believe that each member brings unique strengths to the table, which can enhance the group's effectiveness. I actively listen to others' ideas and encourage feedback to ensure everyone feels valued. When faced with challenges, I focus on collective problem-solving, fostering a sense of unity. I also take on responsibilities according to my strengths while supporting teammates in their roles. By promoting a positive atmosphere and encouraging mutual respect, I help create a productive and cohesive team dynamic. 4. What is your process for solving problems? My process for solving problems involves several key steps. First, I clearly define the problem by gathering all relevant information. Understanding the root cause is essential. Next, I brainstorm potential solutions, evaluating each option for feasibility and effectiveness. I prioritize the solutions based on their potential impact and the resources required. Once I select a solution, I implement it while closely monitoring the progress and outcomes. Finally, I review the process to identify lessons learned, ensuring continuous improvement for future challenges. This methodical approach enables me to tackle complex issues efficiently. 5. Describe a time when you took initiative on a project. In my previous role, I noticed our team struggled with project delays due to inefficient communication. I took the initiative to propose a new project management tool that streamlined our workflow. After researching various options, I organized a meeting to present my findings and demonstrated how it could enhance our productivity. I also volunteered to lead the training sessions for the team. As a result, we experienced a significant reduction in delays and improved collaboration, which fostered a more cohesive work environment. This experience taught me the value of proactive problem solving. 6. Tell me about a situation where you had to overcome an obstacle. In my previous role, I faced a significant challenge when our team was tasked with delivering a project under an unreasonably tight deadline. Midway through, a key team member left unexpectedly, putting our timeline at risk. I immediately organized a meeting to redistribute the workload and identify critical tasks. By collaborating closely with the remaining team members, we developed a streamlined plan, prioritizing essential features. This proactive approach not only helped us meet the deadline but also fostered a stronger team dynamic, leaving everyone feeling accomplished and motivated. 7. How do you handle working under pressure? When faced with pressure, I prioritize staying calm and focused. I take a moment to assess the situation, breaking down tasks into manageable steps. This helps me identify urgent tasks and set realistic deadlines. I utilize time management techniques, such as the Pomodoro technique, to maintain productivity while ensuring I take short breaks to recharge. I also communicate openly with my team, seeking support or clarification when necessary. This collaborative approach not only alleviates stress but also fosters a sense of camaraderie, enabling us to tackle challenges more effectively. 8. Describe a time when you had to communicate a complex concept to someone. In a previous role as a technical analyst, I had to explain a complex software system to a non-technical client. I started by breaking down the system into simpler components, using analogies related to everyday experiences. Visual aids, like diagrams and flowcharts, help clarify the processes involved. I encouraged questions throughout our discussion, ensuring the client felt comfortable. By the end of our meeting, the client expressed gratitude for the clear explanation, which empowered them to make informed decisions about the software's implementation. This experience reinforced my belief in the importance of tailored communication. 9. Tell me about an experience that demonstrates your leadership skills. One experience that highlights my leadership skills occurred during a group project at my previous job. 
Our team was tasked with developing a new marketing strategy under a tight deadline. I took the initiative to organize brainstorming sessions, ensuring everyone's ideas were heard. By delegating tasks based on individual strengths, we created a cohesive plan. I also maintained open communication, encouraging feedback and addressing concerns promptly. Ultimately, our strategy not only met the deadline but also exceeded expectations, resulting in a significant increase in engagement for the product. 10. How do you prioritize tasks when facing multiple deadlines? When faced with multiple deadlines, I start by listing all tasks and their respective due dates. I then assess the urgency and importance of each task using the Eisenhower matrix, categorizing them into four quadrants. This helps me identify which tasks require immediate attention and which can be scheduled for later. I also consider any dependencies between tasks, ensuring that I complete foundational tasks first. Regularly revisiting my priorities throughout the day allows me to adapt as new information arises, ensuring that I remain focused and productive under pressure. 11. Describe a situation where you had to resolve a conflict within a team. In my previous project, a disagreement arose between two team members regarding the direction of our work. Tensions escalated, affecting our productivity. I scheduled a meeting to facilitate open communication, allowing each member to express their concerns. By actively listening and encouraging collaboration, we identified common goals and found a compromise that satisfied both parties. This not only resolved the conflict but also strengthened our team dynamics. We learned the importance of clear communication and respect for differing viewpoints, which improved our collaboration moving forward. 12. Tell me about a time when you had to adapt to unexpected changes at work. In my previous role, I was part of a project that suddenly shifted due to a change in client requirements. Initially, we were set to deliver a specific feature, but the client requested a complete overhaul of the project scope just two weeks before the deadline. I quickly organized a team meeting to reassess our priorities and redistribute tasks based on individual strengths. We implemented agile methodologies, allowing us to iterate rapidly. This experience taught me the importance of flexibility and proactive communication when facing unforeseen challenges, ensuring we met the new expectations without compromising quality. 13. How do you stay updated with the latest developments in your field? Staying current in my field involves a multifaceted approach. I regularly read industry-specific journals and publications to understand trends and breakthroughs. Attending webinars and conferences allows me to engage with experts and peers, gaining insights into emerging technologies. Networking with professionals through online communities and social media platforms also helps me stay informed about best practices and innovative solutions. Additionally, I enroll in relevant courses to enhance my skills and knowledge base continually. This proactive approach ensures I remain knowledgeable and adaptable in a rapidly evolving landscape. 14. Describe a project where you had to manage multiple tasks simultaneously. During my internship at a tech startup, I was assigned a project that involved launching a new marketing campaign. This required coordinating with different teams, graphic designers for visuals, content writers for social media posts, and data analysts for tracking metrics. I created a detailed timeline that included deadlines for each task and set up regular check-ins to ensure everyone stayed on track. By prioritizing tasks based on urgency and complexity, I was able to streamline the workflow. The campaign launched successfully, attracting a significant increase in our engagement metrics within the first month. 15. Tell me about a time when you went above and beyond to meet a goal. I once worked on a project with a tight deadline where our team faced significant challenges due to unexpected technical issues. To ensure we met our goal, I volunteered to take on additional responsibilities, including coordinating with other departments to expedite necessary resources. I also organized extra team meetings to ensure everyone was aligned and motivated. My efforts paid off, as we not only met the deadline but also delivered a product that exceeded client expectations, earning positive feedback and strengthening our team's reputation within the company. 16. How do you ensure accuracy and attention to detail in your work? I ensure accuracy and attention to detail by implementing a systematic approach in my tasks. First, I carefully review the requirements and objectives before starting any project. I create checklists to track progress and verify that each element meets the specified criteria. To minimize errors, I take regular breaks to maintain focus and clarity. Additionally, I seek feedback from colleagues to gain different perspectives, which helps identify potential oversights. By adopting these strategies, I consistently deliver high-quality work that meets or exceeds expectations. 17. Describe a situation where you had to make a difficult decision with limited information. In a previous role, I faced a significant decision regarding resource allocation for an urgent project. Time was limited, and I had incomplete data on team capabilities and project requirements. After consulting with key stakeholders and evaluating potential outcomes, I decided to allocate resources based on perceived risks and team strengths. This approach, while uncertain, allowed us to move forward quickly. The project ultimately succeeded, reinforcing my belief in the importance of decisive action even when all information isn't available. 
It taught me the value of trusting my instincts and leveraging team expertise. 18. Tell me about a time when you failed at something and what you learned from it. During a group project in college, I was assigned the role of team leader. I was eager to impress and took on too much responsibility, neglecting to delegate tasks effectively. As a result, we missed critical deadlines and our final project did not meet expectations. This experience taught me the importance of collaboration and trusting my team members. I learned that effective leadership involves empowering others and ensuring clear communication. Since then, I have focused on cultivating teamwork and have achieved better outcomes by valuing each member's contributions. 19. How do you approach learning new technologies or systems? Learning new technologies or systems involves a structured approach. First, I assess my current knowledge and identify gaps that need filling. I then research available resources, such as online courses, tutorials, and documentation. I find hands-on practice essential, so I engage with the technology through projects or simulations. Additionally, I seek guidance from colleagues or mentors who are experienced with the system. Regularly reflecting on what I've learned helps me integrate new knowledge effectively, ensuring I can apply it in real-world scenarios. Staying curious and open-minded is key to my learning journey. 20. Describe a situation where you improved a process or workflow. In my previous role, I noticed that the monthly reporting process was time-consuming and prone to errors. I took the initiative to analyze the existing workflow and identified several redundant steps. I proposed a new system that automated data collection and streamlined the reporting process. By using software tools to eliminate manual entries, we reduced the reporting time by 40%. This change not only improved accuracy but also allowed team members to focus on more strategic tasks, enhancing productivity and morale within the team. 21. Tell me about a time when you had to deliver disappointing news. When I had to inform my team about a project delay due to unforeseen circumstances, I approached the situation with transparency. I scheduled a meeting where I explained the reasons behind the delay, emphasizing our commitment to quality over speed. I encouraged open dialogue, allowing team members to voice their concerns and suggestions. This not only helped in managing expectations but also fostered a sense of collaboration. In the end, we developed a revised timeline together, maintaining team morale and ensuring everyone felt involved in the solution. 22. How do you handle constructive criticism? Receiving constructive criticism is an opportunity for growth. I approach feedback with an open mind and a willingness to learn. First, I listen carefully to understand the perspective being shared. If necessary, I ask clarifying questions to ensure I grasp the key points. After reflecting on the feedback, I identify actionable steps I can take to improve. Implementing these changes not only enhances my performance but also demonstrates my commitment to continuous development. I appreciate constructive criticism as it helps me refine my skills and contributes positively to the team's success. 23. Describe an experience that showcases your problem-solving skills. During my internship, I faced a significant challenge when a critical software tool malfunctioned just days before a major project deadline. The team was frustrated, fearing we would miss our launch date. I took the initiative to gather information on the issue and quickly organized a brainstorming session with my colleagues. Together, we identified potential workarounds and tested them. Ultimately, we developed a temporary solution that allowed us to meet the deadline while the software was fixed. This experience taught me the importance of collaboration and staying calm under pressure. 24. Tell me about a time when you had to work with a difficult colleague. Working with a difficult colleague can be challenging, but I approached the situation with an open mind. I noticed that our communication styles clashed, leading to misunderstandings. To address this, I initiated a one-on-one -on -one meeting, where I expressed my willingness to understand their perspective. We discussed our working styles and agreed on clear communication channels. As a result, we found common ground, allowing us to collaborate more effectively. This experience taught me the importance of patience and proactive communication in resolving interpersonal conflicts. 25. How do you ensure you're adhering to ethical standards in your work? Ensuring adherence to ethical standards begins with a strong personal commitment to integrity. I consistently familiarize myself with the relevant policies and guidelines of my organization. Regularly participating in training sessions helps reinforce these principles. When faced with ethical dilemmas, I take time to evaluate the situation from multiple perspectives, considering the potential consequences of my actions. Seeking guidance from mentors or discussing with colleagues promotes transparency. Additionally, I prioritize open communication allowing me to address concerns proactively and maintain a culture of ethical behavior within my team. In preparing for your Lockheed Martin interview, understanding the right questions and crafting thoughtful answers can significantly enhance your chances of success. The top 25 questions discussed in this video cover essential topics, from technical expertise to problem-solving skills and cultural fit. By familiarizing yourself with these inquiries, you can present yourself as a well-rounded candidate who aligns with the company's values and mission. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more insights and tips to navigate your career journey.